Hey there, it's Booty Quake from Roller Derby Athletics. This is Maintenance Monday. Derby breaks your body down all week long and on Monday I show up with Maintenance Monday to put you back together again. If you have chronic hip pain, which a lot of skaters do, you might spend a lot of time worrying about, thinking about, or stretching, or doing stuff to your piriformis muscle, which is good because it's probably being a jerk. But there's another muscle that could be causing you problems, and if we can solve that muscle's dramas, we might fix all of your hip pain. Its name is the TFL. TFL stands for tensor fascia latte, and I call it the Starbucks muscle because it sounds like something that you would order at Starbucks. Hello, grande tensor fascia latte, please. TFL is a tricky little bastard. It is involved in um, uh, hip uh, doing this. What is this called? Flexion, <laughs> hip flexion, um, adduction, and internal rotation. To find your TFL, if you were wearing jeans and you had like pockets here, and then you have that little coin pocket, it's like right in there. And um, it comes down the front of your hip and then it connects into your IT band, which is also a real jerk for a lot of people. How we're going to release this guy who's often like way tighter than it should be um, is to use its friends, the external rotators, to do their job, thereby taking the pressure off of it. First exercise, I, I want you to sit on something. It could be a bench at the gym, could be your couch or your ottoman like I am. Um, and I want you to have your other leg kind of down. So don't be sitting like this. Just makes it easier to do this exercise. Ideally, your butt's down and your knee is more or less flat. So if you can get in this position, put your hand back here, you can lean back a little bit, and your goal is basically to lift your ankle off of um, the, the thing, off of your surface. I can't actually get any rotation, but I can get an isometric muscle contraction back here in my external rotators. To make this a little tougher, you can put your hand on your ankle for a little extra resistance or a weight plate. What I want you to do is contract and try to lift your ankle off the floor while keeping your knee down for a count of five, nice slow ones, then release and then do that again. And I want you to repeat three reps of a five count or five reps of a five count, as easy one. Okay, next up, we're gonna rotate the other way. So you can do this on the floor, kind of in this orientation like this. You can lean forward a little bit, and your goal now is to rotate your ankle up off of the surface. So you wanna have your knee on something flat here. Wow, this is the boringest video ever. I'm, sh I'm showing you nothing. It could give you a still image of this, but anyway, an isometric contraction lifting your ankle up off of the couch or the bench or the floor and hold for five and then release. Do not be alarmed, you may get a cramp in your butt. That just means it's working. And if you do get a cramp in your butt, shake it out, give yourself one of these, give yourself one of these and lean forward and then keep going because it means it's working. <laughs> All right, now our last piece is to do the stretch. Um, and you'll want a cushion of some kind under your knee. Kind of a normal kneeling position. Send your hips back and then bring your front foot over so that imagine a straight line drawn from your back heel through your knee through your front toe instead of being hip width apart on one line. Now you're gonna lean your hip towards whatever you've got to support you. You might right there already feel um, a stretch in that hip pocket area. If you feel ready for that, you can move forward. So I'm just sending my hips a little bit forward and feel a little bit more of a stretch there. Make sure as you send your hips forward that you're not um, arching your back. You want to keep your back in a neutral position and avoid clenching your butt. That's like the only time I'm going to tell you not to clench your butt. Hold that stretch and um, for 30 seconds or a minute or longer and then switch sides. I have to give credit to Upright Health for the inspiration for uh, today's Maintenance Monday. Um, really good stuff on their YouTube channel, so check them out. I want you to remember that consistency is the key. If you've got chronic hip pain, and if you're skating all the time and reinforcing your movement patterns over and over and over again, then doing this once is not going to solve your issue. Okay, put this on your calendar, do it every day this week, check in with your body and see if this makes a difference. See if you can turn off and shut down your stinky little TFL Starbucks muscle. Check out the other Maintenance Monday videos on my YouTube channel and subscribe there and share them with a friend so that they can take care of their body too. Ciao.